Hi there friends, it's Sarah with Ruffles and Rain Boots and today we are making this spooky ooey gooey zombie gnome. If you'd like to make him, boop, stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me. Now for this guy, I didn't end up using the cone or these little glasses. I did use the dollar store foam curlers, felt, beards, polymer clay. Uh, I worked on this guy so much as a viewer request, uh, so I wanted to use what you guys may already have. I used a cozy sewing gnome pattern and made it no sew, and I added this little hat that would just char up the edges here with cuts and pulls to the felt. And to close the cozy gnome body, all I did was instead of sewing, I adapted it to leave the bottom two inches open, slit every inch or so, and add it to the base with hot glue. So we're just gonna, each of these little tabs goes onto the base, and then once it's dry, oh well, you're gonna leave the laps, last two seam flaps open and then once it's dry we're going to turn it inside out just like you would do with a sewing pattern and squish down those edges we're going to stuff it and then we're going to close it after we insert a bit of floral wire because i wanted it the top to bend um, so after you insert your floral wire just tuck it up in there add the rest of your polyfill and you don't need to weight this down because this is our body and then all we're going to do is just push those seams in and we're going to close them up so we just push them in close it up so I'm putting pants on mine, so I didn't make it look very good at the bottom, but if you'd like to take your time, please do so. <laughs> I knew he was going to get pants. Speaking of pants, if you have the swanky jacket pattern, you now have pants. We're going to send an update to everyone who purchased that already. So if you're just watching this and you've already have it, then yay for you. Okay, so we're just going to close up that hat like we normally would, and we're going to do our nose and feet first. Now, after we have the body, we know how big to make our nose. So you see me sizing it there, and I'm going to make the feet pretty big. Now, I used almost a whole packet of the bright green and just one little section of the dark green to get this color. I did have to mix up more for hands, so keep that in mind. This is a 17-inch tall gnome. So a lot of people asked me to show how to do the clay feet again, so all I did was shape the base, make the top flat and the bottom flat, and then use a toothpick to curve out my toes along with my fingers. That's it. And now for the toenails, I just make a little like rounded part and then a line and then that's what gives me the toenails. Just pull off any clay that you don't need. And then after you do all of the toes, then I just add, use the same toothpick, add little lines on the toes. That's it. And then I repeat with the second foot. That's all. And then I bake them. <laughs> okay, so now for the pants. So we have pants now, woohoo, in the pattern. And... Uh, it's a really, really easy way. So this flap here, we are not attaching it to the gnome yet because we're going to take them off, but we attach the back flap. Um, and then you take them off and you pull one leg up and just attach that center seam on the inside of the legs. And you just repeat that for your other pant leg and you're done. I cut the bottom of mine off because I wanted to fray the edges like we did with the hat. And so I'm using the dollar store uh, foam curlers. I'm adding a piece of wire. And then what I'm gonna do is add hot glue and stick that right up into the body. And then I'm just using the scissors to push the bottom part in. And you can see I'm fraying the bottom of the pant legs and then we're tucking them back in. I rolled down the pant, or I'm sorry, rolled down the waistband because I was lazy and didn't want to make a belt. And then um, I cut the beard. So I cut a really generous beard on this one and realized, oh, his pants are falling off. So go ahead and glue those on. And then glue your beard on, <laughs> you know. Okay, so when I put the hat on, I wanted my nose to have a big pop-out section. And so I frayed that section as well. And then this is... A choice you can either use that pop-out eyeball from the dollar store or I used a piece of wire raffia that I had on hand and painted it red and for the eyeball I just used an off-white um, about one inch maybe or so little little more than one inch round circle and added a little bit of that same green and a darker greenish black color for the eyeball and then I used scraps of red and just made veins I know it's kind of gross, but it looks really cool in person. Um, but I just put veins all over the eyeball just in random places. And we're going to add a little paint to those later. But And you can see I'm going to put a little squish at the back, and then I'm going to squish it in. Okay, so this will let us know exactly how to form it around the wire after it's baked. 
All right, and I'm also gonna make the hands here. So I'm gonna do the hands the exact same way as I did the toes, just making them smaller. And using that toothpick, I'm going to push it in so the fingers, like, so the fingers stick out more and the fingers become longer. And then I'm gonna use the same way to make the um, fingernails. So you can see, like, they're way longer only because I pushed it in with the toothpick. And then you repeat that for the second hand. Now, once everything is baked and cooled, we're just going to add, you don't have to do this, but I added black to the toenails <laughs> and the fingernails. <laughs> and then I also added um, a little dot around the eyeball. Um, in the center, and I read, yeah, around that, you can see it there. I read it, added it around. It just gave it some depth, dimension. All right, so once, uh, whoops, once all of that is dry, you can start assembling. And so we're just adding a little hot glue, and we're going to put it right to the bottom. You can see in those foam curlers, I did not take out the plastic piece. And then I wanted my hair to be all rough and tumbly, so I lifted a little bit up before I put my nose on. And I'm just to fix that with hot glue. Oops, I'm gonna rip that off. And then now for the wire. Put this on first and let it really set before you put the other eyeball on. So we have to make sure we remember which side we put it on. Add the glue, tuck it up under, and then really don't touch that until it's set. I added some brains. You can see I had some plastic brains over there, but I didn't like the way it would look with everything, so I just ripped a hole shredded it, added little pieces of um, red felt, and then just glued those in for brains. <laughs> but if you want to put your brains hanging out of there, that's good. Um, so in the same pattern, swinky jacket pattern, you're going to cut all the pieces, including the collar. You're going to fray the bottom and the sides of the jacket. And then you can see here, I'm actually tucking this all onto the collar. I put the collar up under the hat and then fix the glue right up to the hat or fix the collar right up to the hat, sorry. There you go. And make sure it's really on there. And so I wanted to make sure, I, I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna glue it down here, but I also wanted to make sure it showed, so I cut off part of that jacket um, and then just frayed it. And you can have yours long. So do not follow the arm pattern. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use um, a couple inches of those foam curlers, making the end, one end, fit it exactly and one end a little longer so we can fray it for the um so the hands are going to get glued right up in there okay and then we attach it just like it calls for in the pattern up under the collar and now we're going to add on our glue our eyeball and glue our hands on <laughs> he's so cute right and then you style him with brains so let me know in the comment section what do you think of him do you like him will you make him thanks for hanging out with me please like and subscribe to ruffles and rain boots for more crafty fun